Welcome back to Credit and Treasure Tracker. Now we're in the finale. Yay. Deep space. We've Geo never been here before in AGDI Tokyo game now, have we? Oh, yeah, totally. It's AD, EAD. Uh, EAD. So okay, I keep saying that wrong myself. <laughs> but all of Nintendo... Uh, uh, EAD stands for Entertainment Al Analysis Department. Basically, all of Nintendo's departments are EAD something, and uh, this one in particular is stationed in Tokyo. Obviously. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Ubisoft that has two big bases, one in Montreal and one in Paris. Nintendo used to be... Well, you know, it N Nintendo used to have all their EAD departments um, around in the same city, basically in the same building, rather. Uh, but uh, they wanted to start up a, a new studio at Tokyo, and it was Koizumi-san who started that. Basically, basically a call tonight <laughs> that brought about some of the best designers that have ever been um, at Nintendo. Anyway, go ahead, Till you're going to say something. Oh, huh? what? Oh, we thought you were going to say something. No, no, I already okay. said uh, what I said. I would just say that talk about EAD Tokyo does remind me of the good old days back when, you know, companies used to migrate from place to place. Heck, Final Fantasy IX was made in Hawaii with the help of some oh, Western really? developers. Yeah. Yep. Which explains some of the Hawaiian gear in that game. It's like an, it's, it's <laughs> and, and, it's yeah, like it's more an Easter egg on that. It's kind of like Sonic Team did some re went um, traveling to some I Ast Indian or Aztec or whatever uh, cultures to get inspiration for the Mystic Ruins of Sonic Adventure One. Yeah, Meanwhile, I mean, honestly, sometimes and sometimes the best games are the games you know made by devs that aren't afraid to step outside their comfort zone, not only game wise <laughs> but also environment wise. I'd say Final Fantasy IX is one of the best examples of collaboration between Western and uh, Jap and Eastern developers. Indeed. Okay. Anyway, so, basically, this stage is whoa. all about revol. This stage is all about revolving and uh, making sure um, you know exactly. How, for example, that thing with the hammer that I just did. If I was, if I actually went faster, I could have, I could have perfectly gone got that other gem. I actually think I'm not going to get the middle gem in this particular run. But oh well. I've already got I'm enough gems to complete the game. Sonic Adventure. I'm getting big Sonic Adventure 2 vibes. I know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, why? Final Chase, I'm guessing. No, no, no. Mad uh, Mad Space, I believe the level is called. Ugh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't Crazy oh, Gadget no, 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 wouldn't no, no, no. Crazy be more yeah, better yeah. kind of... Yeah. Crazy Gadget, Crazy Gadget. That's the one I'm thinking. Can I just get that mixed up with the mad? I mean, space if, if, one? if you were playing Mario Galaxy, then yes, I would. I would understand why. Um, but uh, in this well, one, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy gadget. I don't really have any fond memories of Mad Space. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, yeah. My bad. I was talking about Crazy Gadget because you know how you're always constantly changing directions with the gravity, and you have to position yourself right. Sort of like we're here. Mm -hmm. Yay! There we go. <laughs> Speaking of which, how amazing is it that there's actually gravity within this one cube out in the vastness of space? <laughs> it's like uh, a mini space station. And our magma road marathon. Magma marathon. Basically, oh. basically, we have a road of magma, and um, the thing about this one is that it has a lot of uh, boost pads, shall we say? There, I mean, we, we don't actually know what. Sweet they're... boost pad. <laughs> Fort <laughs> Fortunately, Toad doesn't say anything when we touch them. Thankfully. <laughs> okay, so basically, it's a combination of uh, running and blowing on the gamepad. All right. I thought he made a little woo noise. Gotta go fast. Oh no, he didn't. Gotta go fast. Yeah. Gotta go, gotta faster, go fast. Faster. Okay, now it's about um, getting to the top to get, so I can get that gem. So let's circle around the camera a bit. There we go. Uh, when okay. uh, whenever we're going to a pass, uh, boost pad, um, Toad can stop running for a bit. So we basically, use the walls to your advantage. Um, you know, if you run into a wall, yep. it'll keep running, and then eventually it'll run out of steam. So use the walls to your advantage when it comes to um, going out of your way to get the gems in this stage. Okay. Hmm. And here we go. Basically, I'm getting myself some coins, and I think I oh, actually no, I, there's no gem here, so. There we go. Oh, I'm it's, surprised it's... there's not a gem hidden there by, oh, you know, I, I, use trust, of the tr camera. Tr trust me, Jova, it would be a much easier spot than the one that's actually right there at, at the bottom because uh, basically not only have to go fast, you yeah. also have to blow at the right time so you can get um, the platforms oh. in the correct positioning. 
So it's all about timing. Mm hmm But first, let's go here. We. Okay, once again... Uh, okay, it, it, we have a green mushroom here, so basically we can uh, die here multiple times and we'll just have to use the one-up mushroom to stop. Uh, there we go. Very basically, awesome. the key here is... Uh, yeah, there we go, see? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's try this again. Mm -hmm. This time, I'm, I, I go, since I already have the gem, I go straight <clears> forward. <throat> Okay. Okay, basically the trick to getting that gem is to just keep blowing uh, in the gamepad because as long as you keep blowing, the platforms will stay in their position. And for by this, I, I'm, I guess I'm not. I, again, it's been a while since I've recorded this, but I'm guessing I'm. Uh, yeah, my thought probably my thought process right now is, you know what? Screw it. Let's just keep going. I'm almost done anyway. You have enough gems anyway. Yeah. I've already shown the free gems anyway. You know how, how to get them. There yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Ta -da, ta -da. Pay close attention. You also uh, near the end. You also have to pay close attention because, as you saw, the road got gets a little narrow towards the end. So yeah, be quick with your fingers. Anyway, scaling scaffold. Scaling scaffold. Yeah, we're we're back to to that in this one. Of course. Mm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, in this uh, stage, uh, basically um, the lava's rising, so once again, be, be fast about it. Yeah. Lovely. Get the gem. There we go. Ah, the good old Super Mario Brothers 2 game where the answer to everything was throwing instead of jumping. Yeah. Yep. It's interesting because uh, Yuri Tokyo has been kind of in a Mario 2 <coughs> mood lately. I mean, the 3D World, this. <laughs> well, then again, yeah. uh, Mario Land was uh, the Mario 3 throwback. Uh, Mario uh, Mario Galaxy 2 was the Super Mario World throwback. Um, and I guess, to be fair, if I can give... And I guess Super Mario Brothers to the American version is technically more iconic than Lost Levels. It is, it is, it is. Mostly because... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How most ironic. By trying to give us an easier version, they gave us the more unique and actually, in some cases, considered better version. Well, they introduced a lot of interesting new mechanics and uh, enemies that uh, they kept uh, in the franchise, you know. Yeah. And now, most only levels is um, painful. Mm -hmm. Now, if only Magic Quest could have led to something as innovative... Mystic Quest, Joe, you keep forgetting Mystic the name. Uh, Forgive me if I don't respect that awful game. Get back your much. back straight, Jova. Oh no! Okay, okay. Oh boy! He's caught her again. Ugh. Gosh, Yeesh. more times than Peach in one game. <laughs> That's a record. <laughs> well, at least she actually uh, was. Uh, she actually managed to escape earlier. I mean, she's trying. It's just that she's not having the best of luck. Mm -hmm. I suppose she didn't get captured, she's just trying to get the star back. The ultimate treasure. Mm -hmm. The ultimate treasure. Well, of course, the, of course, so that is the ultimate treasure. Anyway, Toadette. yeah, so that is the ultimate treasure. Uh, anyway, here it is, the final boss. Wingo's, Wingo's whacked at. Alright, let's defeat Wingo once and for all. <laughs> you know, Toadette, you could uh, let go of the star. That's a, yeah. that's an interesting thing. So that is, I, I guess, so that is kind of a greedy little bitch, and she just <laughs> and she just refuses to let well, go of the star. Toadette's a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so much like the the first fight against Ringo, it's all about avoiding his wings. However, there's a lot more uh, gimmicks involving this one. Okay. So yeah, like in the like in the first one, climbing here. Okay. Now I just gotta wait till it goes to the other side. Okay, go ahead, Wingo. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, now stay in the stairs. There we go. This is all about timing, really. Yeah. Timing, timing and placement. 
uh, like for example right now like uh, fortunately those those bars <coughs> were ahead of me so he didn't throw me off course like I, ha I have to be very mindful of my placement because uh, if I'm in a place where there's nothing to protect me from falling uh, I'm dead like right now see fortunately there we go stairs okay like for example right now I have to be careful when uh, do I get the I don't even think I get the gem actually no I just go straight for it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There you go. We. Meanwhile, um, the Toad Brigade is still at the usual. Do nothing, self. <laughs> 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 well, at least the blue one uh, helps us by giving us a mushroom. Uh, the yellow one is still sleeping. <laughs> How can he sleep through this? He's, ju he's just that lazy, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Okay. Alright, in order to get the gem in this one, we have to uh, rotate um, that one so we can get the correct passage. I don't think I do actually get any gems in this stage. I think I, I just go straight for... For the goal at this point. Well, you're okay. telling us how to get them, so. Yeah. All right, here we go. You're awfully quiet, Jova. Oh, uh, sorry. It's just constructing a message. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, I would just say, um, hmm. I wonder if he draws power from the star <laughs> with how it's glowing like that sometimes. Eh, explain why you're so obsessed with that. Star. Now, remember, uh, Jova, uh, Wingo is a crow. Crows love shiny things. I guess. Oh, yeah, that's. I'm actually I... more interested in how you obtain some of Bowser's minions uh, control. <laughs> it's like I said to you. Basically, it's not so, mu it's not so much that it's they're under his control. It's just that they're Bowser's minions, so they see someone related tomorrow, so they just strike. That's my okay. guess, anyway. My oh, theory is that they're trying to get in good with the boss. I guess. Again, I say that. Again, my theory is like, well, basically, Bowser sometimes loans his minions on a payroll to some of the villains. Oh. Yeah, you basically fight him in at a castle tower of gold. Yeah, alright, here we go. <laughs> so, in two, two, Super Mario Bros. 2 USA fa fashion, we're supposed to throw vegetables at him. So... <laughs> but first... Okay, we gotta be careful of the wind to throw us off. And this time, unlike the first duel, he actually casts Blacking Bolt that leave those electric... Spot there, so don't touch those because they hurt. They All stay right. there for quite a while. They do. Oh fuck! Oops! Ah, dang you, air momentum! All right. There we go. Damn. There's one. Also, when um, he's doing the. I guess in thing... true super. I, my guess is that in true Super Mario traditionally he has free hits. So. Yep. And also, um, since you haven't really got a safe guard here, when he is um, doing the thing with his wings, stay close to him, because he probably won't knock you off that way. Alright, so after the second hit, so that gives us either a, a mushroom or a one-up mushroom, depending on our state. Okay. Alright, now this is going to be the hardest one, because uh, now Wingo is uh, changing placement real fast, and now there's four... Uh, lightning, uh, there's four, uh, uh, you know, lightning spot. bolts. So that's kind of a, tr a problem. And I've already gotten hurt, so I'm so if I die here, I have to start again. Mm -hmm. And now the theme, and now the boss theme is now running for the main theme of the game. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Dun -dun. Um, there, there, there we, we go. go. There we go. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I guess he bit off more than he could chew. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just end up that again. <laughs> <laughs> A crow eating turnips. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of there. Yay! With the star. Mm -hmm. Ta -da! Ta -da! You can drop it now, you know. 
<laughs> it's not gonna fly away. Well, actually, have you seen those Starmen in Mario? You should be careful about those things. True. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Notice how they're perfectly in sync. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most adorable game I've played in a long time. <laughs> There we go. And now we got the credits again, but this time there's a lot more stuff going on in the background, so pay attention. Okay. Is this where they do the whole 3D world thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Poor Boo. Aww. <laughs> the, Sorry. The, there's also two Boos scaring each other. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So the, they actually can scare themselves. Yeah, the, 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 that's a thing that a lot of people thought for a while. You know, when introduced the mechanics of a Boo, they say, yeah, if two stumbles in each other, what happens? There you go. <laughs> and now it's confirmed. Well, I think in 3D World, if. If you're running away from one and you're in front of a mirror, don't they stop? Well, in Galaxy 2, if I recall, there's a Boo Mario costume that yeah, makes you basically invisible. And there's, and there's Drogadon right there in the background. <laughs> We've still got that lump on his head. And there's Bowser's minions, probably done, uh, probably punching out for work and about to punch in for Bowser. Oh, I, I guess. I love this one, hold on. Yeah, th uh, there's Wingo over there. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. We <laughs> <laughs> left him swollen and more swollen than ever. Oh, Toad, to to you coward. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. And now we're right here at the start of Super Mario 3D World. Oh, Green Star. One of the Green yep. Stars for 3D World. And notice we're here where there's fireworks and everything. Uh huh. Help me out of here. Oh, you should listen to Toadette. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, will he ever learn? The oh. end. But on, there's more. Oh. Yeah. Post credit scene where Toad gets uh, invited to United, uh, invited to the Avengers. Oh, the opening scene for Hey, Prince yep, Peach's castle. There we go. <laughs> and here's the first time ever that the Mario Bros. actually do actual plumbing. Yeah, aside from Superstar Saga, but that's another continuity. Well, I'm talking about um, the main series, but yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh. oh, they literally play the full cutscene. Oh, wait, yeah, this was released after 3D World, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. When you're after, actually. So, so what do you know? It's sort of like a bit of a sort of uh, tiny commercial for 3D World. It's like, hey, you enjoy Treasure Tracker? Well, if you don't have 3D World, you may enjoy it. Well, I played this before 3D World, so... Okay. So yeah, I guess it works out for you, Shiroi. Right? Mm -hmm. Peach to the rescue. <laughs> I wanna give you the one get, 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 that gets kidnapped. <laughs> You're taking least... my role, bitch. Alright, so um, there's more to this, though. Huh? You! You green stars! You're the ones who put me through so much pain trying to get to uh, the final... Yeah, Champions Road. Oh, hi. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how <laughs> Captain Toad got to this Brixie Kingdom. He was curious. No, he's after the green star. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Um, does he fit? <laughs> how I mean, can Bowser fit through there? <laughs> <laughs> the adventure continues in Super Mario 3D World. AKA, go buy Super Mario 3D, 3D World. 3D World. <laughs> Hey, why uh, not? It's a great game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that was Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Teo, I know you haven't seen the whole game, but you've seen enough of the game to yeah, know yeah, exactly yeah, what yeah. it is. And, I uh, like it. And you got a good... Okay, so what are your thoughts? 
Uh, it, it, it's it's a it's a fun game. It's uh, you know uh, it's a good uh, distraction between you know each Mario games, and it's funny that you know they ref they still uh, kept the fact that it's still um, um, set in the Mario franchise, but at the same time trying to be its own thing. Uh, the gameplay is in well, yeah, it's it's in, not in, innovative. I guess it's the term, right term. Yeah, it's yeah. it's um, it's fresh. It's new. It's it's something that uh, uses all the potential of the Wii U gamepad and controls <laughs> yep. uh, to its advantage. But uh, it, it it never holds your hand, uh, nor it. It, it's cheap against you. It's the right balance. I oh think. yeah, if there's it took your mm-hmm. masters in that regard. They, the in terms of difficulty, they're perfect at delivering just the right amount. The, it's probably it's probably them and front software at this point that are the best in that regard. Anyway, yeah, there you go, uh, Java. Thoughts? That's me. So yeah, that was a great game. I mean, I haven't gotten it yet, but I was expecting it to be a wonderful game. But oh, that was pretty fun. I mean. <laughs> I love how it sort of uh, it makes you think that's this big game, and it is. But it's amazing how they make such a great big adventure out of a puzzle game. That's something only Professor Layton uh, has been able to do until now. And Catherine, and said, well, okay, Catherine, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I tend to mistake those with platformers, but yeah, it's a great puzzle game. Makes good use of the Wii U gamepad. Um, yeah, the uh, quote-unquote story is simplistic enough. Uh, the characters are nice, it's a nice, fresh spin, and, uh, and it's a prequel that I'm okay with it being a prequel. <laughs> and, yeah, um, uh, the gimmicks are nice, uh, the gameplay is intricate, and I love all the throwbacks to Super Mario Brothers too. So, uh, yeah, great, and awesome game, and hey, that's just one of the side games. Who knows what EA, EDA Tokyo, EAD Tokyo is next. Mm-hmm. Well, they are working on something, aren't they? Yeah, yep. they are the best at, at, at the best at, 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 the, at what they do in the entire world. So I'm pretty sure that we'll get a, another platforming masterpiece. But uh, go ahead, Shuri. Pretty much what everyone else said. Um, the gameplay has the right amount of challenge. It's one of my favorite Wii U games. I like that they were able to take a concept that because I had already seen playthroughs of 3D World before Treasure Tracker came out. And I wasn't, a lot of people were saying like they shouldn't make a full game out of this mechanics. They don't see how it would work. It, it actually works very well. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have to admit, I myself was a bit skeptical about them making a whole game out of Toad. Honestly, 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 after the whole 3D world uh, 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 under hype and then sudden hype thing, I was st- I, I'm not, I'm, I'm done being skeptical when it comes to these developers um, uh, like uh, at this point uh, they, as far as I'm concerned they can do no wrong but yeah my thoughts well Treasure Tracker was my first DAD Tokyo game so skep- skepticism was the only thing I could go into it with yeah anyway yeah uh, like everybody said I'm of course a huge puzzle fan, puzzle game fan here so of course I was uh, looking forward to this game day one because I love the, the cat and top stages in um, in 3D World. So the idea of them actually making a full game out of them to me was, okay, fine. They won purchase because I love those. So expand upon them and make an awesome game out of it. And of course, being Giddy Tokyo, they did. It's an awesome puzzle game, a cute story, uh, lots of charm. Um, yeah, fantastic game, definitely. Yeah. All right, see you for the bonus content, everybody. See ya. Yep, see ya. See ya.